Hello YouTube and welcome to another first look uh, at a game called King's Road. This is a Facebook game and it's a 3D Diablo clone. So I've, I've started a few minutes ago. I'm going to play through this um, and as I go along I'll show the best parts about this game. So far this looks incredible. Look at the graphics. The quality of graphics is incredible. And the fact that this is a browser based game makes me actually want to play it even more. So I have my first quest. Or my second quest, or my third quest, I don't know. I've done a few quests already. This is a new map. Click on it to select it. I will do that. Uh, so you have three choices of dif difficulties. I'm gonna, I only have, I can only play on normal right now. Um, the game plays really, really well, even though I'm playing on my laptop. Um, oh, Lorian has been captured by Dirk Dadwood. He's one of three brothers that lead Dadwood bandits. Follow the path and save her. I shall do that. So, because it's a Diablo game, you play it in, in the same manner as you would play Diablo. So you have your skills. I only have one skill. Uh, so click to attack. And you can shift, shift and click if you want. I, that's what I do want. Um, ooh, I received a skill point because I just leveled up. So let's uh, let's see what the skills are like. Oh, this is me. Uh, my Facebook picture. I don't know what this says. Event life. Where? Okay, so you have uh, items right here. Your inventory or my inventory is right here. Uh, I have my quarter stuff equipped. And skins. I don't need no skins. I need skin when you have no skin. Uh, right, where's my. What I'm looking for here, so this is to return to town, is my. Where's my skill point? What happened to my skill point? What'd you guys do with my skill point? Okay, I think I can really maybe possibly level up. I don't have finished this level. So unlike Diablo, this is not a persistent world. It's it's based on uh, these missions that you do. Oh, dude, you guys are fast, super fast. And I don't have to actually pick up gold by walking over it. I can just pick it up by uh, pointing my mouse at it, which makes things a little bit more easy. Chicken, that chicken. I'm really impressed with the graphics actually. This is really, really, really well made. What's this? Flimsy boots! Nothing's flimsy enough for me. I'll wear it and I'll enjoy it. Yeah, that's right. Die. Oh no, where'd you come from? Flimsy what? I want it. Give it to me. So this is one of the first quests. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip this one and I'll show you some of the more advanced fighting later on. Yeah, this is my first boss. Alright, that was first E. Third E. Get a scepter. And I'm all set. And that's why I say glory in the merchant. Let's go back to town. Yay. So this is where I spend my skill points at the trainer. And right now I only have fireball, so I'm just gonna upgrade that. My fireball just got a little bit has a little bit more fire in it. It's more fiery than before. Alright, lots of pop-ups, but that's that's very common in Facebook games. Uh, next quest, kill Marcus Deadwood, the brother of the other guy. Alright, just get my new skill, right here, it's right here, animal, uh, enemy, and I also leveled up, I'm level 3, this is my last, uh, quest to kill the last brother, I'm gonna do that, and I'll free you, aha, fuck, I still don't know what you say, I'll never know, you're dead, alright, this is my last boss, and now I'm gonna dig him here. Like a pro. Too easy. There we right. go. Uh, pick up all the stuff. Equip whatever is better. And let's just turn it. I gotta turn it. Yeah, I love turning. And get out. 
As I progress through the map, I get this mastery, which basically gives me more diamonds, which I can spend on more cool items. Because this is a this is a paid um, the diamond diamond thingy. This is what you pay for. You pay for the game. I achieved an unlockment, or unlocked an achievement. Same thing. Cool. All right, story. Don't care enough. Give me my new skill. Uh, let's do this. I use this a lot. Okay, new, uh, new quest. Defeat the thing, the thing, the thing. Okay, so this this is a slightly different mission. I have to kill a spider king. That looks a little bit different as well. A little bit more creepy. Uh, there's more <laughs> spider king. I totally forgot to sell my items, I should have sold them. So this is one of the ways that they make you pay. Uh, if you want more inventory space, you have to pay 300 diamonds, and I only have like 85. And 300 diamonds actually cost 5 Canadian dollars. Holy cow. No, thank you. Um, I'm just gonna drop shit like this, because I don't need this. Go away. Go away. Hey, get out of my inventory. How do I do that? How do I make you go out? Hey. Alright, I think I, I just have to probably sell them later. So I'm gonna have to wait until I get better items. Oh, I opened a fine chest. Okay. Give me everything. Oh, it costs. So, okay, this is another thing. So, the chests in the game also require you to pay with the diamonds. I'm gonna do this now because I don't think I'll be playing this game long enough. But here you go. I got some green items. I got a journeyman's cap and a new mantle. Unfortunately, I can't pick it up because I, my inventory is full. So, let me figure out how to do this because I need. I want those items. Okay, I have no idea how to pick up the last item, so I'm just gonna skip it, because it's not really green. Well, let's keep uh, killing it. So I gotta be honest with you, I'm really impressed with the graphics and the gameplay in this game. Um, I wish it was open map though, I wish it actually was open world, not mission based. Um, because it's not a good one. Also, I'm not entirely sure where the multiplayer comes in. Or if there is multiplayer yet. I haven't seen any people yet. Um, I do believe you can invite your friends to play it. But I don't think you can play with random strangers. Which is very unfortunate because I would like to play. Alright, here's my spider boss. I'm gonna defeat her. And I got a one, but I can't pick it up. Alright, end level. Alright, so this game also has a uh, basic crafting system, so you use normal items to craft a special item. And there you go, I got this journeyman's armor. Oh yeah, that's right, I want it. Unfortunately, I can't fit it in my inventory because my inventory is full. So I'm gonna go get that first. Shut up. Don't care. Thank you. You. Sell my stuff. Alright, so I also got my first passive, which increases my health. Yeah, I need health. Um, and the blacksmith just made me an item. Um, unfortunately, this merchant here, her only purpose is to sell you stuff for real money. So, she doesn't actually sell you anything else. So, everything here costs diamonds. 
And that's very unfortunate because um, this game, when I first tried it the first time, if, uh, maybe if a year ago or a few months ago, it didn't have all this. It had, uh, you, could, you could actually buy things for real money. But here you can even buy a skill point. If you have enough diamonds, you can actually buy more skill points. Ergo become more powerful. So in a sense, it is pay to win. But th since there's no PvP, or not that I can see PvP yet, um, you do invite friends right here though. But yeah, so pay to win in, in the sense that you play PvE and become more powerful if you if you do pay real money. But overall, it's a really interesting game. It's really well developed, really well made. Uh, this is what your map looks like. Uh, you go through all these areas one by one. And then there's another map after this. So it's an interesting game. Definitely one of the best Facebook games that I've played so far. Um, you might defeat the Siege Beast in the bridge for the Keeper to use the bounty board. So there's also a bounty board. I'm not sure what that is, but that sounds really interesting. Um, definitely wor worth your time. Definitely worth a try. If you like Diablo games or if you just want to play a Facebook game that's very well made and very original, do give this a try. Uh, it's called King's Road. I'm going to post the link for this below. And thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye-bye.